Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel, or if you haven't seen this series before, what I do is every Wednesday I go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Moon's Instagram page, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist, or if I think everything's a total washout. But before we jump into this week's products, and oh, there's a lot to talk about this week because it's like every single holiday sneak peek came out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this series and if you want to see any more videos and you haven't already, I hope you consider subscribing, hitting that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every Monday through Friday. And just as a reminder, I do currently have a 1,000 subscriber giveaway going on. I will throw that video up in the cards so you can check it out. It is still open. It'll be open until this upcoming Monday, September 3rd. So if you haven't already entered and you would like to, please check out that video and enter. I'm just really happy that I get to do a giveaway like this and I'm just so happy to have hit one of my biggest goals, 1,000 subscribers, and I just, I'm just really excited about giving back. So it's like hot today, like really hot. It's like, I think like the actual temperature is around 95 um, with like the humidity in the real field being over 100 and this is what I wore to work. You don't stop being goth in the summer. But my boss did compliment my shirt, so thank you Kohl's, not sponsored. But anyway, it seems like over this past week, every single holiday sneak peek has dropped, so we're gonna have plenty to talk about. Get yourself a snack, get a little drink. I worked all day, it just came home. So this is a nice little rum and coke, because I need it after the day that I just had. And we're gonna talk about some makeup. I would have liked a mojito instead, but I don't have like half the ingredients, so. I'm gonna go with the, the cheap and easy <laughs> drink. Okay, so. First and foremost, let me scoot. First and foremost, Tati, what the f is this? Do you remember like all that talk where she was like, oh, I listened and I learned from my last release and I know what you guys really want. She came out with another supplement. Like the thing is, if you're marketing a supplement that's supposed to cure everybody's whatever and be the be all end all of all supplements, you can't have your next release be another supplement that you basically says do the same thing as your previous supplement but with less ingredients. <sighs> and you know what? I was interested. I still like, she was dropping sneak peeks throughout all this other drama that was happening and everyone was excited to see what she was going to come out with. Everyone thought it was going to be a serum. Everyone thought it was going to be a lotion. And honestly, if it had been a skincare item, I probably would have picked it up, or at least really considered it. But really? Like I said in that one weekly wishlister washout where I talked about her first seeds, <laughs> you really shouldn't be taking anything unless your doctor tells you to. Um, I think a huge part of the whole pharmaceutical industry that's more like vitamins and nutrients and not that vitamins and nutrients aren't good for you they are but i really don't think the majority of us need supplements especially as many supplements are marketed to us honestly the majority of them if you already have that vitamin or that supplement in you you're just gonna pee it right out so in order for you to actually like find if you're deficient and then counteract that go to a doctor see a doctor don't take pills that are being marketed to you because they're gonna erase fine lines and get rid of wrinkles and you're gonna look just like Tati in her promo photos even though she's wearing a full face of makeup, gets injections, has a thousand dollar skincare routine, but, but it's the pills. The pills did it. No, I'm just upset. I don't like it when things like that are marketed to younger people, especially. It's on, like honestly, like this whole time I was holding out hope that she would be better and wouldn't scam people with blah, pharmaceutical, you know, pills, placebo pills. But I mean, there comes a point where you just gotta give up and be like, this is probably just her brand. This is all that she's gonna do. Nothing else is going to come of it and just ignore it and move on. I just don't like the, the impact that it's having. I don't like seeing people spend so much money on pills that for the most part are doing absolutely nothing. That's deceitful. Moving on. 
Jeffree Star just came out with some liquid frosts. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of like liquid highlighters or anything, so I'm not gonna be picking up any of these. I know a whole lot of people are really interested in these, and I'll probably watch a few review videos just to see them. Like, they look gorgeous, but I know I would never reach for them. Juvia's Place is coming out with some loose highlighters, and they look gorgeous, but I own like one or two loose highlighters right now, and I never reach for them. I'm currently panning um, like a pressed highlighter, one of the first highlighters I've ever hit pan on, if not the first. So I'll probably be reaching more for pressed powders. I just, loose highlighters are great if you're looking for a deal and you can work with a loose formula because you're getting a whole lot of product. Like no one ever is probably gonna use up a loose highlighter. So if that's like your only highlighter or you want to like reduce your collection or if you're just really liking that one shade i think a loose highlighter is great because it's small it's compact you're going to have so much product in there but if you're not going to reach for it if you already have a whole bunch of pressed highlighters you're probably not going to reach for the loose one because it's not as convenient as the pressed one and i know that i don't even reach for the loose ones that i have right now so despite the fact that these look gorgeous i'm not going to reach for them so tarte basically just repackaged their Tartlet whatever palette that I just decluttered into a pineapple. <sighs> I can't imagine how annoying that's gonna be to like store, but literally the shadows on the right hand side, they are the exact same colors as that Amazonian clay palette thing. Now, what the heck is this? Like I know at this point I shouldn't expect anything from Morphe. Like I know, I know. But seriously, like, what? It's literally every single other one of their other palettes ever made ever. But this time it's a holiday palette. God, I'm getting really sassy today. I've had a bit of a rough day. <laughs> Oof. Pinkies up. Okay, so time for, of course, the Too Faced Weird Little Thin Palette release. This one, mm, I want them to come out with another, like I would love a holiday face palette, personally. I don't need one because I have one of their face palettes, but I would like to see that because whenever they come out with a holiday release, the shadows are never as good as their normal shadow formula, but the face powders are. So you always see people who review these holiday palettes, they end up like depotting the face powders out of them and then getting rid of everything else because the shadows for the most part suck. So I'm seeing this Christmas Dreams palette and I think it's really cute that they do like the bronzer and the highlight and the blushes in those triangles. But those shadows are so boring and neutral and they're not going to be the same formula as their normal formula. So I'm going to stay far, far away, and it's $49 for that. $49? Calm down, Monica. It's gonna be okay. Stila is coming out with a new one of their mini three glitter and glow sets. These are an awesome deal. I love these things. And if I look at the actual shades, I don't know what shades actually come in it yet, but if I don't have those shades, I'd probably pick that one up again because I love that formula and I love the minis. You just, oh, the minis are perfect because you'll never go through a full size Stila glitter and glow. They're huge and they're expensive, but the minis are awesome. They're just the right amount of product. I will say, these are really cute sets from Real Techniques. Like they scream holiday. That's such a great kit. You got a whole bunch of brushes, you got a sponge, you got a sponge holder, and then there's a smaller one that has kind of the same thing going on. The handles are really cute. This is adorable. I'm not in the market for more brushes because I've got like a bajillion brushes, but this is really cute, like to give as a gift or if you're just getting into makeup or if you really want to get like a full set for the first time. These are awesome options. Okay, so Too Faced, what the heck is this? I saw this from far away. From far away, this palette looked cute, right? And then you zoom in. Look how much damn glitter is in that sugared peach blush. What the hell? Oh my god, I have no idea. Literally every shade in here has shimmer or glitter. 
and I was thinking like if that if there had been like again a good face palette with like a matte shade in here then I would have been interested but there is like that <laughs> there's just literally too much glitter straight up glitter and those swatches oh my god that's too much <gasps> Ooh, I'm so excited. Sorry, I got really loud. I am so excited for this new Hourglass palette. Okay, I will say I really do want to see what actual shades are included in here because the, the picture is a little bit dark, so I can't really tell. But this is the new Hourglass palette. It's called the Hourglass, what is it? The Ambient Light Tin Edit Unlocked. Uh, so I, I see some bronzers in here. I see a blush and it looks like a really deep like mauve blush. I really hope that the top left hand one is um, diffused light. It doesn't look like it. I mean, because my dream palette would basically be this with diffused light in that top left corner. I would buy that in a heartbeat. I'm still gonna buy this because I've never been able to get my hands on an hourglass palette, like a holiday palette before, and I really wanna try it out. But like that my dream palette but i i, I want to see what colors are actually in here but i think this is going to be really good i'm really excited ha who else nearly passed out when they saw this new urban decay palette <sighs> i'm not talking about the cherry one we'll get into the cherry one i'm talking about this one like, hot damn i want this palette <laughs> oh my god they I feel like with this palette, Urban Decay is finally getting back into their groove. I feel like this this recalls like Vice themes. It really brings, oh my God. <laughs> it looks like it has a huge mirror. It opens up its circle. It looks gorgeous. Hot damn. Way to go. I'm, I'm gonna get this. I'm going to be getting this. <sighs> This comes out September 10th on their website. I personally don't like buying from those websites because I would rather get them from Ulta or Sephora just to add on to those points, get those coupons, get those rewards. But the minute it gets to either Ulta or Sephora, Sephora, Jesus, or Sephora, it's mine. My back is so hot. I'm leaning against a window. This is like a balcony right here. And my back is just like on fire. So now let's go to the other end of the spectrum and talk about the Naked Cherry. I get what they were going for. All the sexual innuendos, all the tying in the color scheme, the packaging is cute, it's very reminiscent of the Naked Heat. LS just did an awesome video all about that. So if you haven't seen that, I would really suggest you go check that out. It was such a good video. But I think she was right in saying that this release is old. It is a couple of years too late. Like this looks way too close to a modern renaissance. This looks way too close to the Venus. This looks, it's dated, unfortunately, because uh, like I really wanted Urban Decay to like, you know, they're retiring the naked palette. Like they've got a blank slate here and their first release is gonna be something that is literally like two and a half years behind the trend. Not to say you want to be like right on trend or anything, but literally like these were the, the tones that were everywhere in like 2016. And now people are moving on. People are definitely gearing towards more like cool tone palettes. Like if we had gotten a blue palette from Urban Decay, how incredible would that have been? Like a blue green palette or maybe even like a blue silver. Not like this, not the Naked Smoky. That one was a bit... Mm but true blue. Honestly, don't know how this palette is going to do. I'm not really interested in picking it up because it does look way too close to a combination of the Naked Heat and Modern Renaissance. I think if you have those, you really don't need this. Or the Blood Sugar from Jeffree Star. Again, you don't really need this palette. And I'm a bit disappointed that after all the fanfare they went through with the death of the Naked palette, that this is their first thing. 
Okay, and the last product I'm going to be going over today is from Makeup Revolution. This is the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. So they're expanding their concealer line and making it into like a full foundation line, which is incredible. I'm really excited for them. They have an incredible shade range and they just came out with a great collaboration with Emily Noel. I just bought both of her palettes. I got the, um, like I can imagine it like with my mind. I got the notification that my package was delivered. I'm still currently house sitting, so I'm not home to get my package with her palette palettes in it but the palettes are waiting for me at home I'm so excited to dig into them you will definitely be seeing some videos on those but the minute these come out I'm gonna buy a couple shades um, in the foundation I think C5 if they're the same shades as the concealer I'm gonna go for C5 because that concealer shade was very close to my actual skin tone so I think that's going to be a good place to start who a bit of a long one lots of products lots of hits lots of misses as always let me know what you thought of everything down below and I'll see you tomorrow in my next video bye